In terms of rollout across the hospital, we are pretty much using it in the entire hospital for all of our inpatients, with the exception of the emergency department, which uh, is planned to go live as well. We'll be using the system, but they have their own set of challenges that we need to make sure that we work through with them. Uh, but other than that, all of the inpatient wards, including ICU and theatres, are using MedChart for their medication management, so prescribing, nursing administration and pharmacy review. Um, the key challenges along the way have in fact not necessarily been system related, but more of change management and expectation management along the way. So trying to bring staff along with the idea of, of changing the entire environment around medication management at St. Vincent's Hospital and moving them off of the often seen as reliable paper into a computer system which has its own challenges of being unknown, especially in healthcare where many of the staff aren't exposed to computers on a regular daily basis or in their um, personal or home lives. A very supportive and strong team um, at St. Vincent's Hospital. We've worked closely with the clinicians to engage them in the process to transition them over to using computers for their work and supporting them along the entire journey and not throwing them in the deep end. So being there with them, working with them through the challenges to make sure that they have a system that works for them and of course to benefit patient care. In terms of expectation management, there is the perception that when you implement a system, it must have everything at the point of go live. Every module has to work perfectly and it can't be missing anything. Whereas we took the uh, tact of it has most of what we needed to do now and it does that very well, we'll build on to it as we progress with our staged rollout. And really trying to separate the must-haves from the desirable must-haves that a lot of people like to throw in there to perhaps create a bit of a roadblock. And working with the clinicians to say those desirable must-haves we can wait for those and we'll proceed with our implementation anyway. And I think that's one reason we've been so successful is because we've had the ability to not wait for the full product to do everything, but to roll it out in bits and bobs and develop the, um, I suppose, stakeholder engagement and the patient safety benefits over a period of time. It's been phenomenal. Um, even we're surprised sometimes as to how much the clinicians have taken to the system, both medical and nursing as well as pharmacy and any other allied health specialties that also need to access the system for various reasons. Um, we have had amazing support from our executive and that executive support has allowed us to work through some of those challenges with change management and expectation management and as a result we now have on our MedChart wards over 95 percent compliance of patients being on the electronic system, staff not wanting to move back to paper systems, complaining when they go to other hospitals having to return back to paper and I suppose just trying to work through the challenges of the paper chart still coming from the emergency department which will be resolved when that area goes live as well. The future of electronic medication management systems at St. Vincent's specifically will be the fact that it's core business in the organization. Um, I don't see us ever having a time where we'll be moving off of electronic medication management. In terms of actual electronic medication management systems, I think interfacing and interoperability with other applications that are used in the healthcare system will be one of the key, I suppose, enhancements that will come in the future and, and that will see us gaining the real benefits when we are able to seamlessly interact with the medical record with pathology result systems and the PCEHR as well when that comes into effect. Also mobility and being able to use electronic medication management on the devices that many of our clinicians now carry routinely like the iPad, the iPhone, the Android and be able to interact with that effectively and with the hospital systems, the medical record 